I want to say thank you, Ultra Ed, for that intro. Now, Cozy Grove. When I reviewed Animal Crossing, I believe I wondered why more video game companies didn't try to replicate the real world gameplay that it had in it. Well, this game actually does try to do that. Sorta. It does do some things better than Animal Crossing, and some things worse. Overall, I liked what it was doing. I just wish it was more tightly plotted and had more things to do. First off, I want to say this got sent to me by the publisher. Like always, I want to disclose that right away. Now, the story behind this is that you've come to this island to help the ghosts on it. It's part of your training with the spirit scouts. And you end up being stranded on this island, where the only living thing on it is you. And you're dealing with dozens of ghosts and imps. These ghosts are not there to scare you. They just want you to help them. Now, like I mentioned, this is a real-time game, which in this title's example means that you can really only play it for like 30 to 40 minutes a day before you hit a wall. And that wall is pretty solid. You can keep fishing, but the price you get per fish is so small, there isn't really any point. Now, I have not finished this game. In fact, I don't think any reviewer has. It's a title that is expected to take months to finish. And the publisher says it has over 40 hours worth of content. As you can see on day 13, I have over 10 hours into the game. So if you factor that in, that means I'm one-fourth of the way done with this thing. The rate of money you earn and the advancements of the story of each of the residents moves at a glacier pace. I do think it's a little disingenuous to say there's 40 hours worth of content because all they're really doing is stretching out a lot of things with a lot of needless, pointless quests. They should have sped this up a lot. As much crap as I gave to Spiritfarer for his pointless fetch quests, this one felt like it saw those quests and just said, hang on, I can stretch the story out way longer than you. They should have sped things up a lot. I love the idea of giving each of the characters their own story arc. In fact, it's something I wish Animal Crossing would do. But I would have preferred to make it more compact. Have it play out over a week or two. Not a month or even more as it's looking like it's going to be. The issue with it is that the residents give you quests to do. Either it was to craft or cook something, find an object, or catch a fish. That's about it on variety. Sometimes the quest will advance the story on the ghost, and sometimes not. You can always tell which quests are required or not by the time indicator. If it's timed, it's optional. The look of the world is both pretty and ugly at the same time. When the world is in color after helping a ghost, the world looks nice. However, most of the time the world is in black and white and it looks like a garbage dump. There is so much junk littering the island and it's really only there to make the searching for items harder. I wish you could clean it up, but it is not movable. You can expand your campsite to increase your storage. And unlike Animal Crossing, you don't need to take things out of storage to use them. There are other quality of life things as well, like not having to hold a shovel or a pickaxe to use them, but fishing poles still need to be equipped to be used. You will quickly fill up your personal and campsite storage, mainly because you won't know what you might need and what you should just sell. But I held on to way more than I might have needed. Oddly, some of the items you can buy are limited to one per day, like the eggs. Normally, you can only get one per day. However, every Wednesday, a wandering merchant will let you buy 12. So you would think 12 would be more than enough, but that's just enough to make one boiled egg. Because apparently, it takes 12 eggs to make a boiled egg. It makes no sense. Like, why does it take a few charred fish to repair a shovel and a few branches to fix a pickaxe? The crafting system was not very intuitive, and it felt like they just added on strange items just to keep you searching for ingredients. I'm not even getting into the fact that the chef of the island needs souls of imps and ghosts in order make some of their dinners and desserts. When you have her cook you something, they'll mail you the results in one hour. But when you're crafting something, it happens instantly. So why the delay with the cooking? And why are you mailing it? Why not just say, come back in an hour? It felt like they added in the delay just to justify this real-time gimmick. I really wish they did more with it like Animal Crossing. Have special events at certain times. Or do anything to justify the need of a real-world clock. Because right now, I don't see any reason for it. Now looking at this game, you'd think it wouldn't be that hard to run this on the Switch. However, there are often slowdowns and freezes, as well as a lot of pop-in. Normally, this is not a big deal because you know when they're going to happen, which is normally any time a quest is done and the surrounding area comes alive with color. That's when the frame rate moves to single digits. However, it does stutter in normal gameplay more than you might think. Cozy Grove was an interesting experience. I did enjoy my time with it, and I do expect to keep playing it. I wish the storylines on the ghosts were not so dragged out, and it would have been better if they made them more streamlined. The characters that you help out, though, had interesting personalities, and I wanted to come back to help them. Now, like I can mention this doesn't run well on the Switch, but it might be fixed in a patch, or at least I hope they will be. This game is only $14.99 normally, and that's a completely fair price for this, so I do think it's worth a buy. While it did have some issues running on the Switch, it was fairly minor in the long run. So if you're looking for a game that will only take 30 to 40 minutes out of your day for a few months, you might enjoy this. If so, it's worth a buy.